can't believe that it's it's been 10 years and I get to reflect back on what God stands are for. I think one of the first things is um, obviously I was I was involved in the Plastic View community as a teenager with some of my friends on an informal informal basis and it took an outreach to Mozambique um, and some kids asking me to teach them to dance to get to the place of, of actually initiating it in, in my city. Um, but I think when we're young, um, we dream, we dream big and it's part of youth, it's part of the beauty of youth as well. But so I remember driving and I still have it here in, in my, my dream journal or my dream journal with God how um, I wrote down all the details of what I felt he was calling me to. And it's basically an art institution, not just dance, but arts institution, where people could get trained for arts ministry. And I remember when I took that first step and I went to Rihanna um, and, I, and I told her about what this is gonna be and what I'm anticipating. I remember she said, you know, kingdom of God starts with the mustard seed and um, so let's start with the grade one group there are six girls and, I, and my heart dropped because I was like you don't see you don't see the the significance of what this ministry is going to be and that wasn't what she was saying um, but when I started with these girls as a young teacher I had just done my teachers and I hadn't anticipated the, the cultural barriers that I was going to need to cross. And in essence, ballet is, is, is teaching self-discipline and discipline with music and, and, and imagination um, intertwined. But I remember driving back from teaching those six girls um, on a weekly basis and I was crying because my intention was loving on them and sharing something that I loved with them. But the discipline and the cultural barriers and the language barriers was just hard. It, was, it felt like going against the grain. And um, in all of that, it forced me to, to rely on God and to search deeply. And, and through that, I think um, he revealed to me what we now call our hope game, which is basically just that kids need to learn need to know um, what you expect of them because they actually have a desire to please you but if they don't know what you expect then they don't know how to to do that and so once the hope game was in place it yeah it, it became much more enjoyable and natural but i just learned that as god calls you to something he calls you independent so he wants to teach you so much of himself through that i think Another thing that stands out to me is when I look back now, how it started as a mustard seed and it utilized every single relationship and investment that God had made in me. So when I look back now, I think all, every single dance relationship that, um, that I had was utilized um, to make, to bring the beauty of dance to these six girls which is now 66 um, but every single relationship I think um, I think of how we got involved with the youth dance company of Twane uh, which was a big part of my dance history and how at first we took the girls to watch the shows and I saw in them when they watched it I, I realized the value of what I had been given and then they, they, they became part of the, the company and I saw how much of a responsibility that was and how much it took and how much of a commitment and I had realized what I was given and the opportunity that I actually had had. So in sharing, the, sharing it with these girls, I realized the value that I had been given. So I think, you know, and just how God redeemed all of those relationships, the ones that were up and down and, and, and my perspective on them, just how God redeemed all of that because I wanted to give yeah, to these girls and um, I think another thing so the kingdom of God starts with a mustard seed and now I'm at the place actually where every single child that I teach I, I, I see a seed <laughs> a seed 
that if nurtured well um, can become a tree and a, a bearing fruit in his kingdom. Um, but Porsche for me is one of those seeds and yes, my desire and hope is was to was to impact their dancing ability and to give them the best dancing opportunities that I had experienced and I, I got to make that available to them as well. But I think for me now, the most profound is when I sit down with Porsche. Yes, she won, she's won choreography prizes at at her school um, you know, for her choreo choreography ability and she's a natural leader, she's involved in our church, she pours out but even more than that, um, when I sit down with her and we, we dream about what this ministry can be and what what we can achieve and what it would have meant to her if she had a, a mentor that looked like her, that had the same background as her, that overcame the same challenges, how much more hope that would have inspired and how we dream together to make that possible for Africa um, and how it just feels like the natural next step and seeing how God has shaped and nurtured identity within her. Um, the only thing I can think of is in scripture it says God does immeasurably more than we can ask for or imagine and so yeah, I'm just encouraged that Everything around us, every person around us is, is a seed in his kingdom. And if we step out in faith with him, he redeems what he's given us. He shows us the value of what we've received. And he, he does immeasurably more like a seed grows into an amazing tree. Um, and for me, that's the testimony of the last 10 years. Is, is, it's so worth it to trust. God with it, when God trusts you with the seed because he has the ability to to make it a, something immeasurably more in his kingdom